Hello, Professor. Hi. Hello. It can make you cry, it can make you sing, but you're saying that it can actually heal people. And the patient start to recover the ability to move the sounds through the body. Relax. Uh, definitely a very relaxing experience. Hello and welcome to this edition of Crossover. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Hold it, hold it. Not done yet. I'm Ji Xiaojun. And with the strike of the gong, the ocean drum, and this. No, it's oh, not that didn't working. Work. Not working. I, I, obviously, I'm not as good as, as, as you are. So what are we doing today? The gong struck. We could start the show. And, oh my God, check out this set we have today. We have a dental workshop over there. It, it looks... <laughs> no, it, it's not. You know, it's, I, I have a feeling it's supposed to be relaxing, but I have yeah. to say the setup looks very clinical in some way. Just, just take um, a look. It seems some ceremony, some ritual is going to happen <laughs> right over there. We'll tell you what's going to happen. But today, the theme. Take a listen. The theme of today's discussion is about music, music therapy. Music therapy. Now, let me ask you, what do you do to relax? Do you typically? Take a nap. <laughs> Have a drink. <laughs> but I know, I mean, you're a great singer, so you must love music. I'm all right. I listen oh, to music. Oh, come on. You're you know. being modest. Yeah, but, I listen Yeah, I mean, music. I know for a lot of people... Music is very therapeutic. Well, so the, yes, yeah. we are talking about music therapy. We have three great guests today. We have Li Bing, mm -hmm. Zhu Ya. We only see two here. And the these are two. We have one added one on the screen. We have Professor Angelo Molino from Rome, Italy. Hello, Professor. Hi. Hello. Hi. So you're really Hi. in Rome, in Italy. Yeah, I am in Rome, in Italy, and uh, it's very nice to meet you. Okay, can we do a like a, a distant uh, music therapy session? <laughs> yeah, no, we are not ready. <laughs> this is my private studio. In this place, I have the interview with, uh, with the people, with the patients. Right. 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 So this is not something that you can do over Skype, an actual therapy session. <laughs> we, we could organize another time, a little active therapy session with all the instruments. So what exactly is music mm. therapy? Well, in my opinion, that music therapy, we define it as something that the therapists use music as a therapeutic medium to reach some functional life outcomes. Right. And also by saying functional outcomes, we are saying like cognitive, social, emotional, psychological, and ethical outcomes. I prefer say music healing. Music healing. Uh -huh. Yes. So because of uh, the, for the Chinese philosophy of health, uh, treated before disease. So we want to heal in people mm. before he have the serious disease. Mm. So we use the music to help the people to feel relaxed and to release the depressed and release the pressure and to feel the better from the mood. So, so what type of conditions are you usually healing or you know, providing therapy for? Mm. Mm -hmm. For your patients? Uh, our clients actually the scope of practice in music therapy, we have a saying that from womb to tomb, that from like really little babies, mm. that in uh, uh, NICU, that mm. those are pre-born babies, and we are going to provide some music to help them to um, uh, relax, and mm. also that's going to help them to gain some weight and learn that uh, sucking, and that is... Uh, we call it education, baby education, right? Pre-born as baby <laughs> education. <laughs> right, when, you're, when the child exactly. is in the womb and you play music yeah, if for you, the if baby. If you want them to be a musician in the future, play Bach, play uh, Beethoven. If then right. then that's then a little bit di oh. different because the babies are actually born, but they are not fully developed. Okay. Okay. And that's when we see them in the hospital, in the neonatal intensive care mm. unit. Right. And also patients with stroke, that maybe after stroke they have a tendency to, that they have a weird gait pattern mm. that you can typically see on the street that they are not working like this, but they are working like this. 
Uh -huh. Well, this is really fascinating because, I mean, I always knew, like we said, music mm. can be something that, I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like it's something great for the soul. You might sing in the shower. You might sing with music while you're driving, you know, your car. Mm -hmm. It can make you cry. It can make you sing. But you're saying that it can actually heal people? Like yes, somebody and treat people. And serious diseases and conditions. Serious physical diseases. ones. No. Yes, right. and physical ones. For example, we are the clinic in, in Beijing. We cooperate. And also the uh, injury recovery hospital, they also use it for the old people are they, uh, uh, for AD, Parkinson, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So uh, this also have the, some the results. AD, attention AD. deficit, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Professor Molino, how long have you been practicing music therapy? Uh, my career started 20 years ago. I was a piano concertist for classical music, but I was a teacher too for little children, mm. and I discovered that in, in my classrooms there was special children, you know, with autism or other problems like uh, body problems, movement, like that. I started to interested in it because I am a composer starting, and I was very, very, very interested to develop this kind of effect, the power of the music, you know, mm. and uh, in this sense the music has three different powers. I agree with the colleague because uh, the thing is this, you can uh, um, go inside the psychological question of the patient, inside the mind, you can recover the balance of the wellness of the patient and you can inter go inside the problem of the physical. These are three different kinds of music therapy. In the West here we use more the active one that you can play a little instruments like the Chinese bells that you like so much <laughs> and uh, other right. kind of things that permit you to restart, to recover your physical skills, you know. And this is very, very important because the power of the music in this sense is connected to the movement. My personal protocol of, of care uh, is a contamination about drama therapy, music therapy, dance therapy and uh, the plastical and painter therapy, the four art therapies. Professor My Molino, study. can you give me an example of the physical healing that music can provide? I mean, yeah. I, mean I guess that's the part that really surprises me, that mm -hmm. actually, you know, yes, it can yes, heal yes, something yes. physical. Can you give me an example? For, for example, I have some Parkinson's disease patients that work now with the sound beam 5. The sound beam 5 is a a technical thing that can be connected uh, with the PC. There are many sensors in a room. You move your body and uh, through the movement uh, you generate sounds, you know. And this thing starts to improve your um, mental skills to recover. The, like this thing, you can give uh, one sound for one finger. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, you know the scale, no? The chromatic scale. And the patients start to recover the ability to move the sounds through the body. And in this way, they recover the skill to move the body. Professor, can I just ask you this question? Do you think you are a musician, a psychologist, or a doctor? Yeah, this is a good question. I define myself an interface. We are an interface between art and uh, medical environment. Because uh, if you want to be a complete professional one in this field, you must have the studies from music, from medical environment, and from psychology. Mm -hmm. A technical question. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you have the license from the government, what do they say <laughs> you are on that license? Well, what actually what we are trying to promote is a music therapist license. <laughs> so there is but, a license. But do we have a category like that? In the United States, yes. There but in is. China? In China, not yet. For me, I prefer myself to be a music therapy beneficiary. Okay. Yes. Beneficiary. Beneficiary. So you benefit from this as yeah. well. When I give the birth for my boy, and I, uh, I, I think I, I, at that time, I don't know. I get easy to cry, and easy to out of a control of a mood, mm -hmm. and easy to angry. Postpartum depression. And I, I just sometimes feel. Uh, uh, devaluated by myself. Right. Yes, I, I cannot fall asleep with my uh, uh, ch child with me. Yes, and the nervous is very attention. Mm. I don't know oh, what problem at that time. 
So my uh, parents, my, uh, my husband helping me a lot, but it's not work. And it's more serious as the time goes by. Mm. So I'm very fortunate, uh, fortunate and I, uh, uh, I uh, get the music therapy by my uh, uh, music doctor in America. So just uh, this therapy. And you, f and you felt exactly this kind yes. of therapy. And it worked on you. You felt the power. I will never forget about my feelings at that time. Mm -hmm. For the first time, when the uh, music therapy to do the therapy for me, and 20, uh, 30 minutes later, when I come back, I feel myself reverse. You felt a complete reverse. Reverse. Just for one session. How long did it last? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Was there some sort of release? Did you have like this huge crying spell or did you all of a sudden feel like you needed to laugh at me? What, what was it? it or no, was it, it was just no. a very calm I, I know cry reaction. and no very, I just feel so uh, peaceful, mm. full of uh, energy. Well, I mean, yes, I totally different. W w wait, wait, I mean, it's hmm. more about power about just, you know, close the door. Lock yourself in a room and play music, whatever music you want, and, of, and that's it. I, is, I try is a it, lot of times. Is it not the same thing? No, totally it's not. different. It's not. It's no, not. Totally. When we define a process as music therapy, first we do have music. That's a common part. Okay. <laughs> and when and we you are also singing, have this? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe sometimes. <laughs> when we are talking about therapy, there must be a therapist, oh, yeah. a certified therapist, mm -hmm. and a client. And I think in music therapy, first of all, the music is not just a, a mm. random selection from your playlist. Right. It's specially designed and it's mostly decided uh, based on the client's choice and also based upon the therapist's choice at that moment. And it's a very interactive right. music making <laughs> Ooh, process. You know, you know, Professor Molino, I, I want to get you in this conversation again. <laughs> Li Bing is talking about how every single therapy session is pretty much customized for each patient. How much time do you spend in this, I guess, customized type of therapy approach? Every person has a different problem, of course, and you have to tailor your therapy uh, to, to the problems of this, that person. No? For example, to rebalance the, the less of the sleep, and the wake cycle, we can tailor some kind of music that start to produce in your brain the delta waves, you know, to, to arrive in another world, like my colleague said, and uh, to arrive in a, you know, the, the, the term says, um, in a dwelling of the mind. In that way, you arrive inside the problem, as psychological problem of the patient, and this kind of music is composed especially to arrive deep to go vertical and not horizontal on the treatment. This is a real psychological treatment. And for this case, I need a team to work with me, a psychiatric doctor, neurologist, psychological, and me. In this way, we can connect our environments to provide to the patient the real, real treatment that to the end of the cycle, like 20, 15 sessions, can restore totally the balance. This right. is very important. When we come back, we're going to understand more about the two varying approaches. In the meantime, please check out those links below. Mm. Well, this is the most interesting part. At the very end, when I was in my relaxation mode. Do you need a music education background to be a music therapist? Welcome back to Crossover. Now, the question, <laughs> I, I really like this one. Can we, can we keep them you know, can in, the, really tell. in the future for other episodes? Anyway, now the question to the ladies and, and also to Professor. When we talk about the number of patients and how big mm. is the group, say in China, mm -hmm. we say everyone is saying, I mean, life pace yeah. is fast and so many people are not suffering from depression. And even not long ago, right. a celebrity, actually a, a, a film star, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. died and they say the main, main reason mm -hmm. was depression. Mm -hmm. But not everyone would want to see a psychologist, a doctor or mm -hmm. a music therapist to cure those problems. They would say, no, I, I'm fine. 
I don't mm -hmm. have that problem. I'll get through mm -hmm. it. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, so exactly. what is the situation like? I have some of the status and from the Shanghai Region uh, Hospital mm -hmm. Psychology Department and 80% uh, right. of the patient ask, ask for the uh, psychology department is the anxious and the depressed. Ah, mm -hmm. How was that, you know, how prevalent and accepted is it there in the U.S. and or the Europe versus yeah. here in China? In the U.S. currently we have six thousand music therapists mm -hmm. credentialed. Okay. How many and do we have in China? Um, I guess less than 100. Less than 100, yes. okay. So yeah. after even 20 years, I mean, your center. Yes. Right. Yeah. How many yeah. universities are now training, say, music therapists? Well, this is the problem that we have about 14 universities mm -hmm. providing training programs in China. Well, in the U.S., they have, I think, the number is 71 universities offering, offering bachelor degrees and 38 schools offering mm -hmm. masters and mm -hmm. above. Professor mm -hmm. Molina, what's the situation in Europe? Yeah, in Europe, the situation now is growing up very fast because the universities, the university where, where I teach and the other universities are confederated now. We have the European Confederation that uh, give you, like a student, a certification that you can uh, work everywhere. And uh, the, the degrees are good and they're very deep, like study, because inside the degrees you have study of music, of psychology, like a real physician with a neurologist, exams, so all that things. The patients are all connected because, you know, for example, the depression starts to be a big problem because we have a, a lot of working stress, integration of new people that come from the immigration fluxes, mm. and uh, the depression about the ancient people that have to, to fight against the Alzheimer, the Parkinson, the cancer. In the hospice, the depression are very, very considerate, and uh, all these people mix it, uh, be a, a big public, a big public for the music therapy. We could talk about this as much as we want, mm -hmm. but you actually have to go and experience it, right? So I was the guinea pig, and I went to Leaping <laughs> Center. That's, that's a you treat. You know what you're that's about to see. That's a treat from the team. <laughs> <laughs> Please take a look. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you. Wow, you're gorgeous today. Oh, thanks to you. Thank you. 
You know what? This but is it, so different from what I thought of what a, a music a therapy session would too. be like. Me too. That's why the video is so I thought so it would important. be, you know, you know, dim the light and with the curtains on, dark, and mm -hmm. play the music. It's not live, you know? Not someone playing guitar right. and singing <laughs> right in front of you. So, so then I understood and because actually singing. when mm -hmm. she was talking about therapy, like your connection with the therapist is so important. It's not just some... Um, third person or a radio track. But that playing. looks more like a music school, you know, training right. you to be a but potential I have to composer. Tell you, now, this is the most interesting part. At the mm. very end, when I was in my relaxation mode, <laughs> so I was imagining this place and I was walking on the ocean, and it was, I still remember this very vividly, and it was dusk. I was walking on the ocean, and I was by myself, but I could hear the laughter of my children behind me, and I could hear my husband mm -hmm. um, walking alongside them, but I was alone. Mm -hmm. um, and then she started singing the song, which was, What a Wonderful World. And that was just really a, cr a, a, a truly like emotional moment, because that was a song that I played at my wedding for my first dance. How did they know? Huh? She didn't know. Professor, <laughs> if you do a session, would you be doing something like what you see now? Uh, the, the, the both way are right. Because if you need energy, we can use the rock and roll too. It's not, it's not provided. Mm. <laughs> the, the problem is this. When you have to do what you need, what the patient needs. Mm. For some people, it's very important the environment that you describe. Curtain, relaxing, light very, very low, kind of music with the sound of the natural environment on the background, you know, like rain, thunders, or uh, rainfalls, that things. In another case, you need to restore the energy of right. the people. And in that case, you can play really fast with energetic sounds. Uh, I use the piano because I am a pianist, but you can use the guitar as we sing or other instruments that you know, the music is horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is melody, vertical is harmony, you know, more sounds together. You know, earlier you had mentioned the, the work that you do with special needs children yes. as well. Yes. Um, and I think Professor Molino also mentioned it, you know, he, mm -hmm. he works with mm -hmm. a lot of children with autism mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and behavioral issues. Yeah. What have you seen, what results have you seen with, with these types of special children? Well, let me give you an example because I worked with a boy with autism for only eight sessions. Well, he's uh, very high functioning and he has, um, but he has a little bit of attention deficit and um, some like inappropriate social behaviors and uh, the, the most severe problem I see from him is that he's not really interacting, socially interacting with anyone. Mm -hmm. And we did that music therapy just a little bit similar to from what we did. We mm -hmm. write songs together, we play musical games, and we just, we, I interact with him in music because he's not interacting without music, but in music he is. And would he engage with you? Yes. Being, right, okay. Yes, like he's, he, was happy. He, he would mm -hmm. start to tell me stories about his dog, his cat, his family, and I would just improvise and write songs based on the story he told me. And by the end of the eighth sessions, his mother told me, you know what, it's amazing that my boy is playing with other kids. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen this before. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. It really works. Right. It really and you works. go out to the community and you work with many of these special needs children. Yes. Let's take a look at this video clip. Sure. Oh, oh, oh,
well, they children s- and adults. And they right. all seem to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, and engage lot. the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Do you need a music education background to be a music therapist? The music background. Yes. Right. Music background. Yes. Mm-hmm. You need to understand music first. Sure. First you need background. to right. be able yeah. to sing. You understand music theory. You can play at least the piano and guitar, and you can sing. You know all those percussive instruments. And yeah. Again, I mean, if you yeah. go back to the roots, they say you need to understand music. You need to understand education. You need to understand psychology. psychology. Uh, it's the way of communication, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. crossover. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's, cross- <laughs> it's yeah. a crossover. Yeah. I, you know, Professor Molino, how many years of education and training does this require? In Italy, we have two waves of this kind of thing. First one is really academic. You come from the conservatory, like me. Uh, I studied uh, here in Rome. There, there was one of the most ancient conservatory in the world, Santa Cecilia. Mozart studied here <laughs> a lot of centuries ago. And after, I discovered uh, another kind of environment, and I earned another degree in music therapy. But there is another way to do it without being a musician, because the instruments can be used in uh, unconventional ways. Like you take a guitar and you use the back part of the guitar like a percussion. You can use your voice, you can use your body to have body sounds, body percussion, Mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. And this other kind of music therapy is a human music therapy. Uh, These things are very, very, very fashion now in Italy, because you can come from other kind of uh, studies, like uh, sociology, uh, only medical studies, and you can come inside the psychological way of the music therapy. My... My advice is that if you are a real interface, you must know all the environments. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, when we come back, we are going to finally get to everything that is here. And it's now your turn to be the, the guinea pig. You know, I'm scared. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> You're scared. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, check out all the links below. Oof. See you. Relax. So, uh, happy. The, the yellow colors are good ones. Yes. Yeah. You need to get on that bed right now. Therapy so that therapeutic is relationship is really mm-hmm. right. strong. In my personal protocol of care, I mixed the two, the two things. Welcome back to Crossover. Where's the young little? No. I've okay. Been, I've been hiding them. <laughs> all right. You. All right. I need to, to calm myself down a little bit because um, I probably I'll be lying there in a few minutes. But before we do that, let me just get more knowledge about how this works. This is Julia's company, yeah. Phoenix Concerto, and we do have a video so you can anticipate what is going to be happening to you. Let's take a look. All right. <laughs>
This is more like, you know, what I might picture the scene of a music therapy, you know, it's, it's basically the patient doesn't really do much, you know, lying there. <laughs> And you guys you know, take so, up the job. It's, so I don't have to sing or compose any music. So you're not friends anymore. <laughs> so we'll sit here firstly. We should okay. make some tests for you. We have uh, five brain waves. Yeah. Yeah, different. So the theta waves, alpha waves, beta waves, gamma waves, and the delta wave. What we want is to make you have more alpha waves, because alpha waves means relax. So uh, Happy. The, the yellow colors are good ones. Yes, yeah. but yeah. for the gray color means uh, you are not you're a little bit tired. <laughs> and for the for this one red mm. color that means gamma wave. Uh, so for the people now because we are very busy and a lot of things, so uh, more and more people have to always keep the gamma waves. It's uh, th this wave is not good. Didn't so sleep that's like well, the stress level. The gamma stress waves are stress level. You know so what you I mean, have high I, gamma waves. You know, I don't know. I mean, if I, uh, I, I do actually have that experience. If I am uh, on the edge of the cliff, Ooh, you find somehow yourself deep there in my often? heart, I had that desire to jump. Actually, seriously. Wow, that is a and real that, deep well, dark I mean, secret. Uh, some some say some people say that shows you have a, a stress or a depression yeah. problem. Yeah, mm. you have a. D you need to get on that bed right now. Mm. Tell me my problem. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tired uh -huh. and the sleep, okay. sleep not very well. Because I work and too hard. a little bit anxious. Yeah. Yes. All the way. Mm -hmm. But full of creative. Yes. You can yes. even tell that. Full mm -hmm. of creativity. All right. Yes. All right. That's yeah. all good things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Except for I didn't, you know, I don't and like easy that to happy. Part. Easy to happy. <laughs> oh, that. So we're as we can be, while mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. relaxing in your musical healing session. Mm -hmm. Here we go. What did you feel? Um, relaxed. Hmm. Uh, definitely a very relaxing experience. How come the two therapies, no, I mean the two, two sessions, how come? Totally it's, different. It's totally different. This almost seems to me like some sort of, um, maybe not music, but mm. sound therapy. Like you're yeah. using different sounds and different pitches and frequencies. Different the body <laughs> physically, right? Versus, I, I, so I would almost call this like some sort of multi-sound 
healing. Mm -hmm. that, Whereas music that's therapy... That's more interactive, right? Yes. Right. Where yes. we, it was singing and... Um, yeah, a very, it's very different. I mm -hmm. mean, you're kind of taking apart the... This is when I get geeky. But this is the part when you take apart like the, the scientific physical properties of sound and mm -hmm. how it can affect the body. Mm -hmm. But how, yeah. come, how come you two are so different? What we do is a little bit more music. Music based in more therapy. I think you're more yeah. about social connection too. Yeah. Because a lot yeah. of people who might be depressed, they need a connection to another right, person. Right, right. So, so that, therapy, so that, that therapeutic is relationship is really right. strong. Versus this is more of a physical, you know, own self healing type of process. Yes, mm -hmm. we have a right. database using technology for, for 8,000 items for, mm. for human frequency. Professor, what do you think of the two? Uh, different sessions. Right. Th these things I like so much because it's the different point of view of the same thing, you know. The, the social music therapy is very strong to connect people, to restore their energy, and uh, to make an environment in, in what the people can talk with a non-verbal non explication, you know, non-verbal emotions. You can use your body, you can play music. This other kind is more like the receptive method in Europe, we use the GIM, the Guided Imaginary Music, founded by Ellen Bonny to the start of the last century. That is the same thing with the 100 strings harp, no? Mm. Uh, less technological, of course, but it's the same thing. In my personal protocol of care, I mixed the two, bo the mm. two things, mm. because in the first part you can uh, explain your creative expression, your energy, your cathartic things, and after we go down on a deep relaxation, mm -hmm. and to the end of the session, my patients start to be renewed. You are new to so, them because so, they are the things right. they said. So these two things are, like, like you said, they're complementary. The two of you can work together and, and probably go even deeper mm. with, your, with your patients. We're also going to say goodbye to uh, wonderful Professor, Professor Molino from Italy. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. Our government began to want to buy the service for music therapy. What about on the market side? Because we talked about, you know, there are so many people facing depression and anxiety. It is not as popular as it should be. Welcome back to Crossover, and today we've been talking about music therapy in China. I hear actually lots of stories, especially mm -hmm. when some catastrophes happened in, in, in China. They were sent psychologists mm -hmm. and sometimes even music therapists to the uh, earthquake or mm -hmm. other catastrophe-stricken areas like in Wenchuan. Mm -hmm. uh, were you also involved in, in that session? Yeah. I was not. I was too young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we were involved in the Wenchuan earthquake. You were there? Yes, after, after the earthquake. You know, the China. The, I think this is the milestone of uh, music therapy in China. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. from uh, after Wenchuan uh, earthquake and the therapist, music workers, all kinds of, not only the music therapists, the healers, all the, all the, all the singers, yes. yes, and they are volu as the, uh, volunteer and they enter into the different ways to enter into the Wenchuan and to provide all kinds of the music therapy or music healing mm -hmm. or just the relax. So, what you know, they, you know after, the, after the earthquake, the children crying everywhere, the children is crying. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first they, uh, they um, uh, to care, take care of the children and to make children to, to, to calm down, calm down so they were playing and music for them, play to music. soothe them. Yes, yes. Right. When children began to laugh, the mother is released. Yes, mm. the mother is calm down. So that's very beautiful. Mm. So at that time, our government began to want to buy the service for music therapy. All right. So, mm. so this is supported by the government. It's uh yes, yes. Right. So, so since so then, mm. after the after the Wenchuan earthquake, and the government began to buy the service for music therapy. To realize therapy. So the, the role. Yeah, the especially role. for yeah. the yeah, some the disaster. Some so day. now they're appreciating it, but there's not yet a license or certification for mm -hmm. music therapy. A, in a China. specified There is a category. certification in the profession, okay. but not a government recognized certification. I think. Yeah, and I think throughout history, music, I mean, it, it does have medicinal properties it's and healing properties. It's a social activity. Uh, you know, you, you were saying before that you 
did music therapy with the Maori people, Aborigines of New Zealand, and mm -hmm. I know Native Americans of, of the United States also, they used a lot of music and beats mm. as for healing as well. Mm. Right. What about on the market side? Because we talked about, you know, there are so many people facing depression and anxiety, mm -hmm. and so we know that there are a, a lot of people, maybe we said mm. perhaps millions of people who can benefit from this, mm -hmm. but how do you tell them that music therapy is out there and, and, and it is effective? Like, what, how do you outreach mm -hmm. to them? I think the main reason is people will doubt is the music therapy is really work. Mm. People yes. doubt it, right? Of course, doubt it. But in the U.S., in the West, they don't doubt it. They accept they it. Do. A, do a lot of do. doctors Still, they refer do. it. Still, they do. They do. Mm. But I think it's not as popular as it should be. Mm. Mm -hmm. so Compa compared to psychology? Compared to, say, a yes. clinic for a, a psych psychiatrist, say, I mean, are, are you basically mm -hmm. at the same stage, similar stage? Or you know, what I think is this thing, uh, why music therapy is not popular in China yet, is actually because the country is not yet not so popular. popular in China. And because We're populists. <laughs> <laughs> no, because yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, because, because people started to recognize psychology and counseling right, type of things right. in recent years, only in recent yeah. years. But I think Maybe there's this whole person in Chinese culture. You don't want to accept. I have this problem. I have this psychological problem. I don't problem. want to admit I, I have a problem. Right. Yes, yeah. I need to go outside yeah. to you know to, to yes. seek out uh -huh. a therapist. That's, that's why we think China has opportunity. Yes, and right. it's because not our included. Culture. Yeah. And it's not included in the national public health system. Mm -hmm. Is it right. not? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not. No, right. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of challenges. But do you think that will happen? I think I do. You do I think do. so? I hope so. I hope, hope so, and I do really think hope so, so. Because, think so. Mm -hmm. because I have faith in this thing, right. in, in the music therapy, and we do have research data to support that it's a serious science. How do you see yourself, or say this, this career, your career, mm -hmm. in 10 years' time in China? I think it's, very, uh, it's a, such a good opportunity, these 10 years, yes, for the developing the music therapy. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's really have a good market, yes and really have a lot of the you know, students will to learn the music therapy mm. more and more mm. and more and more the overseas, uh, overseas students will back to China because China is really a potential market for mm. music therapy. And what I'm going to promote is to have it to be a real system because I think it, uh, just as I said, it's not fully developed because we are not having a healthy cycle for it. Mm. We need to have trainers, we need to have good students, and we need to have advocacy, we need to have research. And those are all the factors they build together to build a real profession. And I think in 10 years, that's what we should mm. try to do. Yes. Yeah. A lot to do. Well, and yeah. you know what? Yeah. We can all use a little bit more music and song in our lives. <laughs> right? Can and keep laughter. That maybe for the future episodes No, but you know what? Over? You can keep the gong. <laughs> <laughs> you right. yes, do you on, know. Hang on. You're going to do the ending, and I'll, I'll do all right. this. Right? Um, I want to thank wait, both wait. of you so wait. much for being Stand here by. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers at home for tuning in. We'll see you next weekend on Crossover. Bye for now. Done. Go for it. Five.